Hey guys, Kevin again. This is my review for the double eviction episode of Big Brother 17, episode 32. As you guys know, I usually review this on all oh, the entire week on Thursday, but I reviewed the first two episodes of this week last night because, of course, tonight was a double eviction. I was really looking forward to it, and I really didn't know what was going to happen, and I was definitely anticipating what was going to happen with it. Um, by the way, guys, if you guys are wondering where my Mr. Robot season finale review is, that will be coming directly after this video. That will be my next video, and I did already watch it, and I will give you my thoughts on that uh, after. Let's just get into this episode. I was looking forward to this episode. I really was. I didn't really know what was going to happen. We're at the point now where literally anything can happen, and it'd be interesting to watch. And uh, I have to say, I actually wasn't disappointed. I know some people are, like, pissed out of their minds. I'm really not. I'm going to talk about why I think uh, it was a good, it was, a, I think, a good move um, what did end up happening. Now, I am a little upset about one thing. I definitely will say that. Um, but you guys may be surprised at the house guests I'm most pissed off by. Because it's not who you think. I'm going to talk about who I'm most pissed off by. Um, and again, just like this season, this isn't a rant. You guys may be wondering, why don't you hate the season? I like the people on the season. I think those, some of them are idiots. They're fun to watch. And... I have tried to have fun with this season, and I think that's kind of worked for the better. I think because you just, if you have fun with the season and don't take it too seriously, I think that's kind of why I've been enjoying it more. I haven't taken it wait that that seriously. Like, I've taken it seriously, but not, like, completely seriously. So I think that really is why I'm enjoying this season more than I probably should. Um, but let's just get into it. So as we know, Julia was the replacement nominee, and right away James wants to do anything in his power to flip the house, and pretty much everyone is on board with it except for Steve. Steve is probably the house guest that I think is pissing me off the most, because first of all, what are you worried about? I don't understand what you're so worried about. You don't have a deal with the twins. Yes, you have the scamper squad, but the most loyal person to you are Vanessa and Johnny Mac. Johnny Mac is telling you to, you know, get rid of, you know, Johnny Mac was on board probably with uh, getting rid of Julia. That's really what they wanted to do. That Steve doesn't really want to make a move, and I'm just like... Why are you doing this? At this point, there is no, oh, I don't want to get blood on my hands. I'm tired of hearing that. There is no more, I don't want to get blood on my hands. At this point, you get blood on your hands no matter what you do. If you're in this house, you are going to get blood on your hands. Because there's 20 days left in the house. Julie said tonight there's 20 days left. And uh, basically, you don't want to make a move. It was so stupid. And what I hate about Steve is that he always second guesses the house. He seems to think that he's playing this awesome game and that he's this mastermind and that, you know, he uh, he knows what he's doing and things like that. And I don't think Steve realizes how much of a pussy he actually is because that's exactly what he's doing. He's pussying out. He's not listening to what the majority of the house wants. I understand he kind of wants to go against them, but the reason the house did not flip tonight is because of Steve. And honestly, Steve is the house guest that is annoying me the most. Because things could have happened. This could have worked perfectly if it hadn't been for Steve. If Steve would have just said, alright, whatever, then fine. First of all, Steve, you've done nothing. You've won one HOH and a POV. Actually, I think two POVs. You've really done nothing in the house at all. Except uh, just act like an idiot. And... Uh, Steve, just, I don't know what you're going to do with Steve. I really hope Steve leaves soon because I kind of feel like he has a good chance of winning the game. And I hope that doesn't win. And I hope that doesn't happen because I really don't want that to happen. Um, But I, I have to say, I do like seeing James wanting to flip the house because we haven't seen a lot of that this season. And I think it's kind of been this situation where, you know, the same four people have been in power. It's either Vanessa or the twins that have been in power every week. And that still goes here. Vanessa's in power right now. So I think that really is why everyone's kind of been afraid to flip the house because they know how powerful Vanessa and the twins are. And they know what happens when Vanessa doesn't get her way. She cries. She, you know, makes you feel guilty. Obviously, it didn't work with James, but she makes them feel guilty. I mean, think about what she does. She twists their words around, shows them how she's feeling. I mean, I mean, Vanessa, I have to say, I think some of the crying is real, but I think some of it is just her trying to in make them guilty and intimidate them that way. And I think it's really interesting the way she's doing that. And uh, I, I definitely do like that, I have to say. 
So we go right to the uh, eviction, and Julie tells him that's going to be a double eviction. You can tell that everyone's shocked out of their mind, especially James. He's freaking out. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but basically, what ends up happening here is Meg ends up leaving, and whatever. I have to say, a lot of people were upset that Meg left, and me personally, I'm not upset that she left. I'm disappointed to see her go. She really hasn't done anything in the game, but again, this is one of those seasons where I like the cast, and they don't need to play the game for me to actually like them. Like, Meg was a person, no, she didn't play a lot of game. No, she, yeah, she did kind of throw a lot of competitions, which she really couldn't help because she had really bad knees and had to get knee surgery and things like that. I do feel if Meg wouldn't have had the knee surgery, she probably would have played this game a bit differently. Because, in my opinion, I think she did have the ability to. If you guys remember, like, back in week two or whatever, she was one of the people to call out Audrey for what happened with that whole Devon situation. So I really feel she could could have played a uh, better game than she could have, but it, this is not, you know, who who could have played a better game. This is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about, you know, who was great, who played a great game, and I think Meg was really good socially, and I'm really good, you know, uh, physically, but I think for the most part, she, I, I think that for the most part, I enjoyed seeing her play, and I'm going to miss her. I thought her interview was really interesting, what she said about James and how she really likes him as a friend, and there's really nothing going on there. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but I do kind of feel this is one of those situations where I definitely feel like getting it closer in Jury, I could definitely see that being a possibility, and that'd actually be really funny if that happened. I, I honestly would love to see them get close in Jury. That, that'd be really funny. So, sad to see Meg go. And then we get to the second half of the double eviction, which actually didn't piss me off. It really didn't, because I, it was inevitable. At this point, I really wanted James to get HOH or Johnny Mac, because they seem like the only two people willing to flip the house to make a big move, and do something that would really change the course of this game. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to get mad at what happened, because it's just what happened. And I think you need, you guys need to understand, this is not, like, rigged or something, okay? I do think, I don't think they would rig this for the Twins. Vanessa, maybe. But Vanessa couldn't play, so... The Twins, I don't think it's rigged. I really don't. I think instead, it just comes down to they were the ones that knew the question. I don't know. Um, I did find it kind of funny that the only pictures they showed for that uh, HOH were pictures of house guests pre-jury. They didn't show any house guests in the jury. They showed Audrey, Jeff, Devon, Jason, and Clay. And Jace, I think, as well, but they only showed them, which I thought was interesting they did that. Kind of makes us remember, oh yeah, they were in the house. Remember Jace, you know, the person that covered the, the Julia's picture covered? I thought that was, you know, I thought that was interesting the way they did that. But uh, Liz and Julia end up being the final two, and I'm like, oh, fuck no. Because, like, I knew that Liz and Julia were going to do something big, but basically Liz ends up winning HOH, and... It's just, it's really stupid that Liz has won as much as she has, especially because, again, like I've said, she's not very smart. Neither is Julia. They're smart in a way where I think, I don't think they're game smart. Now, when I, still, when I say smart, I don't mean they're Victoria. I don't mean they're Ashley Ioka from Big Brother 14. If you guys haven't seen Ashley Ioka, it doesn't get weirder than that. Literally a house guest that I wouldn't be surprised if she was on drugs the whole time. Now, I have seen her, like, in real life. She's much different, but on Big Brother 14, damn, she was just... I have never seen someone more of an airhead than Ashley Ioka. Just look up Ashley Ioka, Big Brother 14, you won't regret it. Liz and Julie are not Ashley Ioka, okay? Yes, they talk like this, and it's really annoying. Oh my god, da 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 Like, everything they say is, like, whining, but it, it's annoying. It is annoying. I will say that. Their voice gets on my nerves, and it's fun to make fun of, but uh, I do have to say that I think Liz did make the right move here. Now, I know some people are saying, well, why didn't she get rid of Vanessa? Vanessa, I feel, besides Austin and Julia, are the, is really the only other person that would back Liz up at this point. Because Steve, I feel, is most loyal to Vanessa, Johnny Mac. And Johnny Mac, I feel, is most loyal to Vanessa at this point. So I really feel that uh, her not back joining Vanessa was a good move overall. Because if she really wants, you know, the votes and things like that, I think that really is why Liz decided to keep her around. Some people are saying, well, why didn't she do that? I honestly thought she was going to backdoor Julia. I, that could have been really interesting if she did that. 
But no, she goes for James and Johnny Mack. And I'm actually not upset about this because here's the thing. James would have come after the Oz twins. If James would have won HOH, he would have come after the Oz twins. And James even said that probably Austin would have been the one to go because Austin's actually never been on the block. Yeah, he might pull a Derek, ladies and gentlemen. A Derek! Austin, this airhead who it's just focus on Liz, and that's all that matters to him, and he doesn't really do anything besides that, is, uh, might end up pulling a Derek, which is just ridiculous if that happens. I don't ever think Austin's gonna be nominated, which is ridiculous, and I really hope they don't acknowledge that, because that's really stupid that they would. Um, but basically, James and Johnny Mac go up on the block, and again, like I said, I think James is probably the best person to target, even though I know that a lot of people are pissed. Obviously, I'm sad to see James go, but I'm not surprised that they put him up. Um, the veto competition, what the hell was that? Like, that's an HOH comp. That is not something you do for veto. It's not. It just It's, it's time-consuming. It takes time. It takes effort. People are stressed out. It's just... It was completely the wrong time to do that. Maybe in, like, the beginning weeks of this game when it's like, you know, take your shot, like the Gronk thing. That was different, Gronk Pawn. This was just stupid. I really hated this veto comp because they didn't do the clown shoe, which they usually do. You know, the, the classic Jeff Schroeder clown shoe. Uh, they didn't do that, but they did this, and it, it was really weird, I have to say. I thought that was a very strange, it, it was a very unusual thing for I get that they're trying to do something different but just for veto it felt very odd to me uh but basically Austin Austin almost got it but Julia gets it which you know fine she won something whatever she can be happy about that uh I do kind of find it interesting though that Liz has won a lot more than Julia when Julia it seemed like would have played a better game I think Julia's downfall in this game mainly was a few things one, Shelly and Clay, um, when they weren't really on their side anymore, I feel if, you know, Shelly would have come back in the game, she could have worked with her and done more with her. Julia, I think the biggest problem with her is that she came into this house late, and because of that, or because of her coming into the house as, you know, late as she did, she really didn't get to really do anything except stick by Liz. I think if, uh, if Liz and Julia maybe would have been, maybe would have, you know, not been in the house, you know, if they would have done this differently and have both Liz and Julia in the house, I do think this game would have played a lot differently, which I think would have been a lot more interesting. But you can't really just fantasize about what the season could be. You have to accept what it is, and that's kind of what I've learned about this season. That's kind of what you have to think. So... Basically, they don't really change anything, which I wasn't surprised about, and uh, James is the one that ends up leaving, and I'm not surprised about that. I'm not surprised that James ended up leaving because, again, he was probably their biggest target. He was, you know, he had, like I said, if they would not have gotten rid of James uh, in this episode and Johnny Mack would have left, I think James possibly could have won the game because he played very hard. And he wanted to get rid of big targets, and Julie even talks to him about this in the interview, and Basically, in the interview, uh, I like what Julie said, you know, why did you just sit back? And I thought James' response was actually very intelligent and very astute, I have to say. I mean, that really is what it comes down to, that the people that play too hard, you know, too early, leave. Like, Devon, Audrey. Devon, I think, was playing a good game. Her biggest problem was her and Audrey were always going at it, and people just didn't want to deal with it. That really is what it is. I've watched Devon highlights. I really wish she was playing this game, but again, I can't really fantasize. I just have to think of what is and not what could have been. Uh, but like Devon, Audrey, you know, people like that they, who played the game too early, who played the game too much. I heard Jeff even played the game very hard, even though we didn't really see it. I heard he played a really great, you know, he was playing uh, too fast as well. And then, of course, Big Brother 16, you had Devin. Then Big Brother 15, you had Jeremy. You know, those people. Then, then of course, Nick and Big Brother 15. Those people that were playing, which I, I recently rewatched early episodes of Big Brother 15, totally different season watch like the first few episodes before they start the whole racist shit it's a totally different season and it's it's really it's really depressing because it's like this is what it could have been and this is what ended up happening it, it really sucks i mean every year i watch the big brother season premiere and i'm like think of how much better of a season it could have been if this person was still around if this person would have won i always fantasize about that but this season i don't know it's just i don't i'm not like that uh but Last season, I was like this, you know, last season, I was pounding a bowl on the table, uh, pissed off that, you know, they just sent out Christine when they could have sent out Frankie, 
Uh, you know, Big Brother 15, I was pissed off that they got rid of Alyssa. And I'm really not pissed off here. And I know you guys are like, why the fuck aren't you pissed off? Because this isn't Big Brother 16 or Big Brother 15. Because it just, it's simply, I think, a better season. I think the people in the house are all intelligent. They've just kind of stuck by the wrong people. That's kind of what I think has happened this season. I don't think it has anything to do with the house guests' uh, ability. I think... Each of them had potential, even Austin. I mean, again, look at Austin on AfterBuzz TV. There was a portion that I meant to play for you guys that I wish I would have played when he talks about how McCrae should have done more in the game and that he kind of just slid by, and that's exactly what Austin's done. Austin Lee is a very much like Amanda and McCrae. And I was supposed to say that in my video, but my video like cut out. It like froze, and you guys didn't see that. But that really is what I feel is the problem with Austin, and I feel he really, that's really what he's doing. He's, Liz is kind of playing the game while Austin's just kind of sitting there and basically just agreeing with what she says. If they would have allied with different people, I really feel this season could have been a lot, you know, a, a lot more interesting. I do think this season is interesting, but I just feel the way it's kind of gone, you kind of have this huge, you know, uh this huge power in the house that just won't go away. It's very much like Derek last season. Derek played a much more consistent game, and he was definitely better in the game, but I do think that this season is very much like that. And uh, we're only down to six now, and uh, who do I think the next person to leave should be? I think, honestly, now we gotta start to turn on the Twins. We have to. At this point, if we don't turn on the Twins one of them is winning, okay? If they're against Vanessa, I could see them winning because a lot of the jury doesn't like Vanessa. They don't want her there. They don't want her to win the game. So why would they vote for her? It's just that simple. A lot of the jury does not like Vanessa. If Liz was sitting next to Vanessa, she'd probably win. If Julia was sitting next to Vanessa, she'd probably win. If Austin was sitting next to Vanessa, he'd probably win. That's really what it comes down to at this point. If you want to, you know, get rid of a big threat, you got to get rid of the Aust twins. And I know some people are thinking, well, why didn't they do that? Obviously, they couldn't hear because they won. And uh, obviously, they couldn't, you know, get rid of an Aust twin. You know, they really couldn't get rid of them because obviously, Liz just, you know, won HOH. But now I think they have a really good opportunity to do that. And I'd love to see if they actually do target Austin and the Twins. And that could be interesting to see if that happened. Um, I really don't know where we're going at this point. I usually have a good idea of what's happening. But I think this season is so just like kind of like these people have been in power that I kind of want to see what happens now that we have, you know, Vanessa, Austin, the Twins, and then you have Steve and Johnny Mac. Because Steve and Johnny Mac, I do feel could... Steve, no. Steve just... I, I don't like him. I really don't like him. I think he could have done a lot more in the game. I think he gets way too paranoid, and I think he's even more paranoid than Vanessa. I mean, who talks to the camera? This is not Mr. Robot. This is not... Uh, it, it's not. It's not Mr. Robot, which we will get into in the next video. But this is not a show where you just like have monologues and things like that This is not a theater or production where you just have a monologue if you want to do that go on Broadway Ask Frankie Grande for advice on Broadway go into a Broadway show do a monologue go ahead That's cool. Enjoy your life. That's that's how it should be But this is not that this is Big Brother. You're playing a game here. You're not talking to cameras You're not falling in love with cameras, which I still don't understand. You're not asking your mommy to come help you it's ridiculous and uh i just i can't stand steve johnny mac i feel does have a good chance i keep wanting him to win hoh i think he just at this point just doesn't care as much because he knows he's a target doesn't want to sum himself up so i think that really is what it's about this season that people really just don't want to make themselves a target that's why they're really not doing anything that big again i understand steve didn't want to make himself a target but that probably would have been the best choice was to get rid of Julia. Imagine how different this episode could have been if they would have gotten rid of Julia. But again, we have to just accept what is and not uh, rant about it. But that's basically my review. Again, guys, I know you guys are surprised this wasn't a rant, but it wasn't. I really am not upset. I'm really not upset about this because I think they made the right move in getting rid of James. It, you know, I think he probably was the strongest person besides Austin the Twins that were in their way. That probably would have turned on them. So I'm really not upset that they got rid of him because I thought that's what was going to happen. The second that Liz won, I'm like, they're getting rid of James. I know it. If James does not win, POV, he is going. And I knew that was going to happen. So I'm really not upset that James left. 
I'm really not, I'm going to miss him, obviously. He was one of the best house guests of the season by far. I really feel he could have done more in the game. Uh, I think it's fine that he just sat back, but maybe he could have won a, more comp, a few more comps, things like that. But I think for the most part, he will probably end up being America's favorite house guest. Um, I think definitely him or Johnny Mac will definitely end up uh, going on there. But that's basically my review. Hope you guys enjoyed. No notes, guys, thought this episode. I overall really did enjoy this episode. I didn't think it was bad. I honestly didn't. I think there was some good stuff in there. And we'll see you guys next week, which will be for the season finale, Mr. Robot, which I know you guys are looking forward to. And I will finally review that to you guys. And I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.